mortality is three times as high as it should be when compared to groups in the global north that are in the same income range. I'll come back to this. What I'm saying is inequality is bad for everyone. Of course it's worst for the poorest, but it's bad for everyone. And we know that in terms of violence, for example, in our society. It doesn't only affect the poorest, it affects them worst, but it affects everyone. So a fundamental social determinant is poverty. <coughs> this just shows some data on child poverty, where it's shocking that six out of every 10 children live in households with an income of less than 575 rand per person per month. And it really makes me mad when, when I'm teaching, people talk about the poor misusing their money. And I always say to them, excuse me, could you live on 575 rand a month? And you think about it. It's extremely difficult. You have to be very clever, actually, to live on 575 rand a month. So this is the income share by decile. The population divided up into 10%. And you can see that 90% of people have a very, very small percentage share of the income. And 10% share 55% of total income in this country, and it's getting worse. There's 1993 compared with 2008. So what about the health sector itself? I've talked about some of the social determinants outside the health sector. What are the key challenges to improving access and quality? So there was a series published in the prestigious Lancet Journal a few years ago, and they came up with three issues that the health sector, three actions that need to be taken. One is regarding the health workforce. 